Your guys swaz up is Crips, and today I have you all Hunter Fashion Set number 26. Now if you're new to the channel and don't know how this sort of video works, I'm going to be showing you all 7 winning submissions from my Discord server, as well as some honourable mentions for sets which are close to winning. Now if you want to participate in my next Fashion Set video, which will be for Titan, then go ahead and join the Discord and submit your best Titan sets into video submissions. But yeah, all the winners today will receive the Realm Walker title in the Discord, and if if you do like any of the sets shown then please drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel and without further delay it's time we get straight into the sets. Now before we get into the first discord winner I do want to point out that none of these sets will be used in the festival of the lost armor. This is because the submissions ended just before the event started but don't worry as the next upload will be a halloween fashion set video. Now starting off with the first submission winner it goes to Shrigma with the rain out hunter. Now I really love the idea with the set with the raincoats protecting it from the radioactive rainfalls. I think it was a great idea incorporating some yellow to contrast that grey. And this choice of colour also allows the vest and the boots to flow much better as it does have some unshadable yellow. Now they've also provided a really nice ghost shell and ship which I absolutely love and they definitely fit this aesthetic. And that choice of weapon as well using the chroma rush is also great because of that wiring on the gun also matching with like the wiring coming through on the chest and also the boots. Now Moving on to the pieces they used, the helmet here is the Katuria Mask from the Season of the Chosen Eververse, the arms are the Mechanic 1.1 which is an uncommon item, the chest plate is the Christ Queen Vest from Beyond Light, the boots are the Stompy's Exotic with the Astro Striders ornaments, and then the cloak is the Scatterhorn Cloak from the Tangled Shore. Now as for shaders you want to use Lawful Neutral on the helmet, Desert of Gold on the arms and cloak, and then Dead Orbit Camo on the chest and boots. Now Lawful Neutral was from the Season of the Hunt Pass, Desert of Gold is from the Shader Bundle in the Eververse Archive, and then as for Dead Orbit Camo, this is no longer obtainable as it was from the Faction Rally in Year 1. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire set. Again, the pieces were really well thought out, and the way you incorporated these uncommon grips is just perfect. They give off that baggy look and also have a bit of a glove design. So yeah, congratulations Shrigma for winning for a third time this season. Now moving on to the second hunter set it goes to will d with a really nice male hunter now as you could see it's a really nice choice of pieces and shaders and i absolutely love the combo between this helmet and cloak i think these blend really nicely together and it's quite unfortunate that you can't get these anymore as this is one of my top three helmets for the hunter and it looks absolutely incredible for a samurai look now with this set you have a nice mix between plating and leather as you could see the top half of the chest is plating and then the bottom half is leather leading into the boots. Now anyways moving on to the pieces they used, the helmet here is the Waylorant's Iron Mask from the Year 1 Iron Banner, the arms are the Bladesmith's Memory from the Scourge of the Past Raid, the chest plate is the Vest of the Great Hunt from the Last Wish Raid, the boots are the Steadfast Ornament from the Year 1 Vanguard and it is unfortunately no longer obtainable, then the cloak is the Iron Fellowship Cloak which was from a previous Iron Banner, and then finally the shader that goes over the entire set is Iron Mossbone which is from the Iron and banner during season of undying so yeah that's pretty much the entire set now i would have loved to see maybe a ghost shell ship and sparrow to help expand the set even further but regardless it's a really awesome set and congratulations will d on winning and getting your first title now moving on to the third submission winner it goes to falcon with the mega neura now i like this set because it has a really nice light color with some subtle purples lead into the helmet and cloak and then the cloak has amrath atrocity which gives it really bright pink and blue look and this also helps to match with the graviton forfeit ornament now they've also provided some weapons i really like the sniper and the sword choice i just feel that the fawn isn't the best fit for this set now moving on to the pieces they used the helmet is the graviton forfeit with the original crossroads ornament the arms are the pyrrhic ascent grasps from the trials of osiris the chest plate uses the empyrean cartographer ornament from the eververse archive the boots are the boots of the emperor Empress Agent from the Prestige Leviathan, and the cloak is the Solstice Cloak they rekindled from the Solstice event. Now as for shaders, you want to use Lawful Neutral on the helmet, Arctic Pearl on the arms, Nebula Rose on the chest plate, Bitter Pearl on the boots, 
and Amroth Atrocity on the Cloak. Now you can get Lawful Neutral from the Season of the Hunt's Pass, As for Arctic Pill and Nebula Rose, these are both from the Shader Bundle. Then Bitter Pill is a Shader from the Pearl of Glass Triumph in the Vaults of Glass Raid. And then Amroth Atrocity is a Shader that was sold during Festival of the Lost. So yeah, it's overall a really nice light and clean look. And I can maybe see this set working in a darker look with shaders like Welded Brass. But anyways, congratulations Falcon on winning and getting your title. Now moving on to the fourth submission winner, it goes to Lily the Server Mute. Now I actually remember seeing this set on my stream before when I was reviewing your guys' fashion. And I must say that I really loved this and it definitely gave me some Splinter Cell vibes. Now as you can see, they've also provided the Hawkmoon ornaments as well as the Pragma Harrier. Both of these working extremely well for this spec ops look and yeah all the pieces here just blend extremely well together and I especially love the use of the Wastelanders mask. Now moving on to the pieces they used, like I just mentioned the helmet is using the Wastelanders mask which is a common item, then the arms and cloak are from the Wildwood set from EDC packages and then the chest and boots are from the Legata set from the Season of the Chosen Pass. Now as for shaders you want to use Gambit Jade Stone on the helmet, Abyssinian Gold on the arms, chest and cloak and then Metro Shift on the boots. Now unfortunately Gambit Jade Stone is no longer obtainable. As for Abyssinian Gold, this shader can sometimes be sold in the Brightest Store. And then as for Metro Shift, this is a shader from the Shader Bundle in the Eververse Archive. So yeah, like I said, it's a really nice spec of set and definitely reminds me of Splinter Cell. And if you didn't know, you could actually change the glow colour and the intensity of the helmet by changing the shader. So you don't have to stick with a green glow. But anyways, congratulations Lily on winning and getting your first title. Then moving on to the fifth submission winner, it goes to KG Binks with the Sleek and Selected. Now this definitely suits the name you've given it and I absolutely love the combo between the cloak and the chest plate. Now if you couldn't tell this chest plate actually has cloth going over the top of it. Now this is actually part of the chest plate itself and it's something I wish Bungie did across more chest plates. Now they've also provided a ghost shell ship and sparrow and all these blend perfectly with the set so great choice with these pieces as as well. Now moving on to the pieces they used, the helmet here is the Jensen Knight cask. Now this was from my own packages, although it's going to be sold from Jure this season. The arms are the Couturier grips from the season of the Chosen Eververse. The chest plate is the Braytech combat vest from Mars packages, although this piece will also be sold at Jure at some point during the season. Then the boots, the Meridian Constellation ornament from this season's pass. The cloak is the Memory of Cade cloak from Led Trangrams. And then finally the shader that goes over the entire set is Ancient Republic, which you could get from the shader bundle in the Eververse archive. So yeah, it's just a really clean and sleek look, no pun intended. And I just love the use of Ancient Republic as I don't see this shader that often. And it's honestly one of the best shaders in the shader bundle and every player has access to it. So congratulations KG Binks on winning and getting your first title. Now moving on to the sixth submission winner, it goes to Owen Pappy with the Wandering Bad. Now I just want to say congratulations Owen on getting the first post, but also a great job on the entirety of the set. You've used to studio perfectly here and I also love how you chose a darker shader on the helmet to help the gold stand out even more. And something else I really like about this set is the mixture between the arms, chest and cloak. If you don't know, each of these pieces are obtainable this season and if you do play a male hunter these arms and chest blend so well together. It is a great combo for any of you liking some plated sets. Now moving on to the pieces they used, the helmet here is the Iron True Age cask from a previous Iron Banner, the arms and the cloak are from the Iron Forerunner set which is from this season's Iron Banner, the chest plate is the vest of the Great Hunt from the Last Wish Raid, and then the boots of the Bombardier's Exotic. Now as for shaders, you want to use Old Gun Metal on the helmet, Testudo on the arms, chest and boots, and then Vintage Timber on the cloak. Now you can get Oiled Gun Metal from Bright Engrams. As for Testudo, this is from the Season of the Chosen Pass. And then finally Vintage Timber is from the Solstice of Heroes event. So yeah, apart from the shaders and the helmet, most of these pieces are obtainable this season. So this will be a great set for you newer players to the game. But yeah, you did a really great job making this set with the Bombardier's Exotic. Congratulations Owen Pappy on winning and getting your title. Now before I get into the final submission winner, I want to give some honourable mentions for sets which are close to winning. So this first mention goes to Oxy with a really nice Iron Lord set. Now this set was in comparison to Owen Pappy's and I felt that Owen's was much 
much more unique. Although this is still a really nice Iron Lord set. Then moving on we have Hike with full regalia. Now this is a really nice use of the Nemian and Solstice pieces, creating a somewhat royal look. Then next we have Sasuke Lewis with the Spec Ops Hunter. Now this set was in comparison to set 4 from Lily, although I felt that Lily had the edge using the Wastelanders mask, giving this set a more unique look. Then next we have Wood with the Kill and Pink set. Now this set has some really awesome presentation and a very unique design. And then the final mention goes to Off Para with the Squid Game set. Set. Now this set is based off the security in the show and I think they did a really awesome job of replicating it in Destiny 2. So yeah they are pretty much all of the honourable mentions. Congratulations to all of you for making these really awesome sets and for making it this far. But anyways it's time to move on to the final submission winner which goes to Crawl. Now a lot of you may not recognise some of the pieces here as they are from the year 1 Iron Banner. For example the helmet and cloak are from the Iron Pledge set. Now I do want to point out that if you do have this Iron Pledge cloak then you can use it for a shredder set. But anyways the set here is absolutely awesome. I also love the use of the Gwynsin vest with the Eerie Breeze ornament. I don't see this exotic nor this ornament that often at all and I think the Lectus boots are a really smart choice to pair with this chest plate. Now looking more into what they used, like I mentioned the helmet and the cloak are from the Iron Pledge set which is from the Iron Banner in year 1. The arms are the Grips of the Exile from the old Trolls of Osiris set. The chest plate is the Gwyn's Invest Exotic with the Eerie Breeze ornament. The boots are the Legatus ornament from the Season of the Chosen Pass. And then as of shaders you want to use Iron Wood on the arms, chest and boots. And then Iron to Steel on the cloak. Now unfortunately both these shaders are no longer obtainable as they were from the Year 1 Iron Banner. So just a really awesome job on the set itself. Although I would have maybe loved to see like a weapon or a ghost shell to help bring the set even further. Maybe using the old Iron Banner ghost shell or even some of the Iron Banner weapons. But anyways Kroll congratulations on winning and getting your title. So yeah that pretty much sums up the entire video. I just want to say thank you all so much for submitting your set and I'm sorry this took a while to come out. The delay on the video was due to me being ill and also the release of the festival the lost event but now i'm back on track and we're going to be doing this every week or so so if you want to participate in the next fashion set which will be for titan then go ahead and join the discord and submit your best titan set into video submissions and yeah thank you all so much for watching stay safe and i'll see you all in the next video